Here we are in the cockpit of the Leprechaun 317. As you can tell, it's a very upgraded, sort of top of the line model. We've upgraded the window, or the mirrors, so this is an on and an off for your heated mirror. This will adjust your mirrors. Cockpit's pretty standard. There is a um, cruise control. It works pretty well if you're on level ground and it's not real windy, but if it's real windy, um, or you're in mountainous areas, the cruise probably won't work very well. When you go up the mountains, it's going to slow down, and at about 40 to 45 miles an hour, it's going to shift down. When it does that, push this tow haul button right here on the end of the gear shift, and this tow haul light will come on on the dash. Leave that on as you go up the hill. It won't have to go up and down and shift up and down. When you're coming back down the mountain, make sure you leave that on, and if you're still going a little faster than you want to be going, just tap your brakes twice. It's going to shift down again for you so you don't have to use your brakes coming back downhill. Once you get back all the way down the hill, then just take that tow haul off and it'll shift and drive normally. Everything up here is pretty standard. Uh, on this one, you do have a radio. You've got your backup cameras, your side cameras. So. Anytime you turn a blinker on, it'll show you that side of the coach. Anytime you put it in reverse, it's going to show you reverse. We do include a little level up here so that when you park, you can make sure you're level enough for your fridge. If that bubble's touching that black circle, you're close enough. You don't have to be perfect, you just have to be close for those uh, fluids to circulate in your fridge there. And then uh, up here we have upgraded everything as you can tell have beautiful leather seats in it up above here we've got uh, the uh, extra over the cab bed so this piece fits right in the hole to make a bed this particular one has an extra uh, cargo net that snaps up to this and a ladder for you to get in and out some of them will have there's also a built-in step here to get up into the bed there's going to be a privacy curtain, and it's just going to Velcro across and hang behind the seats to give you some privacy from the front there. This one's got a uh, couple of pages in here of reminders, cards, matches, fly swatter, that kind of thing's all stored in here. This one has a slide out, so we're going to show you how that slides out here in just a second, but this whole living room will slide out once you park. In this particular unit, you've got the Dream Dinette, which doubles as another bed. So this has a little latch right underneath the table. You open that, and then this just slides down. You just move these cushions out of the way and let this slide down. And you push this all the way under these cushions, and then the four cushions here will make your bed. And then when you're done, you just lift this back up, reach under, and latch that tight. Put your cushions all back in place. This has a DVD. The TV for this unit simply pulls down here from the top. So you have a TV right down from the top. We've got the built-in uh, recliners in this unit. All of it's got pleated shades. Simply pull those right in the middle. They'll pull down and work great. Put them back up, but don't get them on the ends. It kind of messes up if you don't pull it right in the middle. Let's this is the control panel for this unit. So all your controls are right here in one easy to use location. You're going to have your water right here. So anytime you need your water pump or water heater, they're right here. The water pump, anytime you're going to use your sink, your faucet, your toilet, your shower, and your water heater. It takes about 15 minutes to get hot. This one also has an electric water heater, so if you are plugged into a campground and you have your generator on, you can use electricity to heat your water. This will use your propane to heat your water. There's also tank heaters. Tank heaters are for your holding tanks not for your fresh water. So anything that is going into your gray or your black water, if you're out in cold conditions, the tank heaters will keep, help keep those from freezing. This is all of your controls for your gauges. So your lights are here, so you press down the button, and this is LPG for propane, shows you that propane's full. Your battery, 
your fresh water is empty, your black water, your gray water. So that's how you can keep track of the levels. When these are full, as, they, as your fresh water empties, it'll come down. As your black water fills, it'll go up. Keep track of all the levels while you're out. The generator on board, the only time you need electricity is for your air conditioner and your microwave or if you're going to plug something into the outlets or watch TV. So to start your generator or start and stop, just hold down the start, hold that down until your generator starts. Once you have electricity, um, then you can use microwave and air conditioner. Try not to use your air conditioner and your microwave at the same time. You could overload the generator. So just keep that in mind. The easiest way to tell if your electricity is working is uh, if that microwave lights up. If those lights come on the microwave, whether you're running your generator or you're plugged into electricity, that's the best way to tell. Um, you have two buttons for slide outs. There's the in and out, so you just press the out button. That one is for the wardrobe in the bedroom. You slide it in all the way out and then all the way in. This back button is actually for the front slide, so you press out and just press the hold down the out button until you get all the way out. And we'll open up the living room and uh, change this from an RV to an apartment here. Just hold that button until it gets all the way out. Then just let go once it's all the way out. We'll go over here and uh, take a look at the kitchen real quick. With the kitchen here, we've got the cooktop to start one of your burners here, you're just going to turn this burner on and turn this spark and that's going to light the burner for you. If you're going to run the oven, you have to turn it to pilot and then you have to hold that in. While you're holding in the pilot button, you hold that in, you reach back, it's about two-thirds of the way back, there's a little finger there that's a thermocouple. While you're holding it in, light that. It takes forever. You think it's not going to work, it finally works small little pilot light. Continue to hold that for another 30 seconds or so and then you can turn it on to the temperature you want. You can turn it back to pilot but we recommend that you turn that off um, and don't have any pilots on when you're driving. Microwave works just like home. The fridge has an on and an off. It also has a second button here that's your gas or auto. We want to just out is gas only. We want to leave that in on auto. And you have the auto light that just tells you everything's working, but it'll also switch to electricity. So anytime you have electricity, it's automatically going to switch. If you see this check light come on, somehow this fridge went out. Turn it off, turn it back on, the fridge will relight. After 30 or 60 seconds, if it can't relight, then that light will come back, that check light will come back on. So that's just something to keep your eye on. You don't want to hold this door open. If you're out in the summer and it's hot outside, these are kind of struggling to keep up. Every minute that you hold that door open is going to take about an hour to catch back up. Anytime you bring in food from the store and you put all your warm food in there, try not to overfill that fridge because if you stuff that full of warm food, it's going to take forever to kind of catch up and get cold. Just normal operation, three to four hours it's going to take to get that new food all cold in there for you. The recliners are just pretty self-explanatory. As we move to the back of the coach, we have one door going into the bedroom and another door coming into the bathroom. So when you come into the bathroom, another door goes out of the bathroom into the bedroom. We have a full bathroom in here, big wardrobe in here behind or closet. The sink you're going to have your toilet paper and chemical underneath the sink. Again, anytime you dump your black tank, put one of those pouches into the toilet and flush it down. You've got your shower and then the toilet, which has a pedal. You just push that pedal part way down to add water, all the way down to flush. And then back into the bedroom, you've got a wardrobe that slides out. And you've got the full slide out wardrobe, the upgraded mattress and the emergency exit window. Up here on the front wall, you've got a built-in TV and DVD for the bedroom. This is the inside of our uh, Leprechaun 317 here at b, b RV. Have a great day.